Welcome back to our channel, guys. Hey. <laughs> As you can see, we did have some plans to get some yard work done today, but those were halted just a little bit because this rototiller will not start. Well, it started off with one thing and then turned yeah. into another. Well, we had to replace the primer bulb, a little plastic piece, and we thought that's all the problem was because that thing was cracked and you couldn't prime it. So we did that and then now it still won't start. So I'm pretty sure the carburetor is gummed up on this thing. And we're gonna have to work on that a little tiny bit before we can get busy. So Roxanne's already digging into it, tearing everything apart. So I'm sure we can get it fixed. I'm sure we can. No luck with the tiller. We uh, tore it all apart. We took the carb off. We cleaned the carb all out. Um, we replaced one of the hoses coming from the gas tank to the carb because it had, uh, had a little hole in it. And we still can't get it started. We had it going for like a brief second and I thought, oh, this is it. And then it died again and now it won't start. So, um, not sure exactly what's wrong, but I will say in my defense, not really defense, but I did leave this thing out in the garden for the last like two years. So it's been sitting and exposed to all the weather, the snow, the rain, the heat. So. It's kind of like dry rotted all the little hoses in there. It got really nasty and dirty. It just, I don't know, I hope I can get it started because I really like that tiller. You know, it was a good purchase and I've used it very much so. I still need it. It's not like it's not a needed tool, but I don't know, we're gonna let it sit for a little bit. Let the carb kind of, we might have flooded it too because we were really, really, really trying. So we're just gonna let it sit here for a minute. Come back over here in a little while and try it again and see if we can get it going. But in the meantime, we're gonna get some other things down because this has taken way too much of our time this morning. Actually gonna be taking this cattle paneling off. So we're taking the gate off. Yeah, <laughs> we're removing the gate. <laughs> Maybe this will give us some motivation to get this fencing actually done. Yeah. And put in a real gate around here. Yeah, put in a real gate and actually rearrange and move my garden around like I want to. Yeah. Well, We've been kind of waiting around for stuff to quit growing and everything has finally stopped growing. Yep, <laughs> and Roxanne said she don't care if the dogs go in there now because there's not going to be anything in there, you know, that's going to hurt it. So. No. They can't tear anything up in there. I mean, they can tear up the dirt. A little yeah. bit. But that's not a big deal. No, nah, there's nothing in there growing, so I won't be as upset. Yeah. That's it. I think there's only two on there. Oh. But it, this is all temporary, remember? This wasn't permanent. No, I know. <laughs> Originally, we just put this gate up because the dogs, mainly Luna, <laughs> kept running in there and just messing up my garden bed, so just a quick solution was to put that gate in and it ended up kind of being a permanent solution because we've been using it for a couple years now. <laughs> yeah. But hopefully guys, that will all change here really soon because we have big plans for this area up here. We do. We just... Uh, slowly yeah. but surely. Slowly, surely, yeah. We had to wait for the garden to finish out because I told Anthony I'm not touching this garden until everything's done growing. The dogs are like, what? I can come in here whenever I want. I don't have to wait for you to open the gate. Yeah. Of course, I say that and they're not even coming. They don't even care. Right, Ghost? So this garden is pathetic. Yeah. So we've had a couple nice cold frost come through last week. And it just, whatever was left in here growing is dead now. Yeah. Like I had cantaloupe. A little bit of watermelon growing in here and the ground cherries and it's just dead. All dead. My green or my beans, they're dead too. They didn't make it during the frost. I knew the pumpkins weren't. And then the tomatoes really, <laughs> they really didn't make it through that frost. They're looking really sad. Well, the ants have made it. <clears throat> oh, there's our ants in there? Oh yeah. Yeah, I bet. I guess you'll be using Old Faithful for now. Yeah, I guess so. For now, but this thing works really good, so. Yeah, I might actually go grab that metal rake, too. The metal rake? Yeah. Yeah. Help me tear it up. Take this all dirt. Yeah. yeah. What a sad day today. 
the last little bit of the garden is gonna get ripped out. But I will say this, I don't like looking out the windows inside the house in the garden area because everything just looks dead. It's just, I don't like looking at it. So I was like, I really need to rip this stuff out. So with everything that I pretty much had left growing in here has died, the only thing I will say that didn't really die and I didn't even plant it, right, was the, my uh, cauliflower and broccoli. I had a few little stragglers left behind in the garden bed after I cleaned it out the first time. And they're actually still like alive and thriving, kind of. They're a little droopy, but they're not dried up and shriveled up like everything else around here. And there's only like three little, like I, this is a broccoli, that one's a broccoli, and that one over there, that one's a cauliflower. But I'm gonna rip those out. I have a feeling they're not going to be making it here in the next month or so, so it's kind of a waste of time. Well, I figured since Roxanne's doing some stuff in the garden and we can't get that tiller started, I should probably make sure that that log splitter works. I've been wanting to bring it over here anyway, so now would be like the best time to do it. We're making sure all of our stuff is ready for the winter. Because that would be a bummer. Come to visit, ghosts. They have the awesome power of this. Out ghost. Trying to pull this thing uphill by yourself is not easy. I'm trying to do it, but I'm out of luck. That was way harder than it needed to be. Way harder.
my compost bin to good use today. Actually, I do have stuff that I've thrown in here. Um, and at first it was like super jam-packed. I could barely put anything in there. And now everything's kind of breaking down, but it is some good dirt in here. Like still a few little leaves and stuff, but I mean, everything's pretty good broke down. I mean, man, it's gonna be some good dirt for my garden beds next year. My poor beans. Kind of a bummer I had to rip out my beans. I actually was just starting to get some beans actually growing on them and I got enough. I did pick some and put them in the freezer. It's not enough to have like a full meal, but it's enough to throw it in, you know, a little something to have, but uh, cause I planted them, they were growing. I got some stuff off of it, but then I started getting attacked by the Japanese beetles again which has been my biggest headache this entire grow season this year was the Japanese beetles. And then last year for me, it was the squash bugs. I did have squash bugs this year, but it wasn't as bad as last year. The Japanese beetles though. So if you guys have any helpful t hints or tips or tricks that can maybe combat some of the Japanese beetles, comment below, let me know, and maybe I'll try that out next year. I didn't do any of the traps or anything for them this year, but I tried to use the neem oil and dish soap and that didn't seem to really keep them at bay. They just would go away for a day and then come back. So <laughs> maybe next year will be better. <laughs> Yard max. Very, very good wood splitter as far as I'm personally concerned. Now let's just hope it starts because we ain't started it in a while. See on. 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 Well, it's running. It's running a little rough. It's kind of wow, 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 wow. It's not a steady idle on it, but I got to put it under load and under pressure with a log to make sure it doesn't die because that's what was happening to us before. We'd throw a log on there, it's running great. The second we throw a log on there and try to split the log, it would die. So let's hope that does not happen. I think this log will do. It's big enough. It's pretty big. Yeah, that'll do. I'm hoping, because I got a lot of logs to split this year. And our neighbor asked if he could use our log splitter, because he doesn't have one. So I told him, feel free to bring some stuff over here and we'll get it split for you. So I'm really hoping this doesn't die.
looks like we are in business for now. So that is good. I'm gonna let it run just a little bit longer because it hasn't been ran in months. So I'm glad it didn't die, that's good. I'm ripping out the pumpkins now. And it's kind of bittersweet because I was really, really hoping that we could get at least one pumpkin out of there to carve for Halloween and that didn't happen. I did have one, however, that was growing and then I'm sure it was the squash bugs or the Japanese beetles got a hold of it and just ruined it, so. But also too, I did learn something a little bit different. I think next year, I am gonna try to grow pumpkins, but I think I'm gonna start them a little earlier. I started them according to what it said for me to start on that Clyde's calendar. And for some reason, they just, I don't know if it was how they were just growing, but they didn't really take off like they should have. Um, they did have flowers and blooms on them, but like I said, I only got one pumpkin that actually was growing. The rest of them were just flowers and nothing was really happening. So I'm um, thinking it might need to have a little bit warmer weather, cooler maybe even. Ugh, you turn that off and it sounds totally weird. <laughs> but I think next year I'm gonna plant them when I plant everything else. I'm gonna actually design an area special for the pumpkins to grow because I, I really would like to have pumpkins to carve for Halloween. I just, you know, that I grew myself. That would just be a huge accomplishment for me. So that's definitely a goal I'm gonna set for myself next year. Working pretty good. I let it run for about 20 minutes or so. Check that one log. I think we're good to go. This is supposed to be, technically you're supposed to split the logs with this piece right here, vertical. But you can do it right here like this horizontal too if you really want to. But it's running good, so that's all that really matters. I'm sure you're sad. You probably already mentioned how sad you are <laughs> about all this stuff. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, like my tomatoes I'm kind of bummed out about because that was the last like living thing I had from, you know, my spring summer garden. It's all right. You know, and actually though, I mean, I will say these tomatoes were a really big success this year. Oh, I mean, yeah. You can still see that there's still quite a bit that was still on it. Just that frost killed it. Yep. That's all right. They need to be ripped out, though. They do. Yeah. yeah. They're you can get on that right now, I guess. Yeah, they're just they're <laughs> pathetic. Not, yeah, and they're attracting <laughs> a lot of bucks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> officially got everything ripped out. Everything's out of the garden beds now. And I'm ready to get planting next spring, which is very exciting. Um, I will say uh, the tomatoes, they had some pretty massive root system on them. So I'm sure that's why they were thriving and doing so well. <laughs> they were like little uh, trees. They had such big fat roots on them. <laughs> So I still would really like to get in here and actually like till up the dirt, maybe throw in some of the leaves that are on the ground around here, rake some up and throw the leaves on top and then obviously wait until next year and then start my garden all over again. But it's kind of a bummer my rototiller don't work right now. So hopefully maybe we can mess around with it a little bit, maybe get it running so I can instead of doing it all by hand because that's a lot of work. But for right now, I'm just gonna leave it how it is and uh yeah hopefully get that tiller running well guys you know the saying when it rains it pours so <laughs> <laughs> we left you off we were working inside the garden we were getting all kinds of stuff ready that we needed to do we started working on making sure all the engines were up and running like the log splitter mm -hmm. we tried to get the rotor tiller going we had big plans for the rest of that day and the following day we did yes but Roxanne and myself fell very ill that night. Yes, um, we went to bed that night. Um, I wasn't feeling very well, so I went to bed a little earlier and then Anthony came in and said he wasn't feeling very well and it just kind of escalated from then. Yeah, and it really bums me out because the following day, we were supposed to go over to the Drifting Dreamers 5 
their their property and their house because I don't know if you guys know but Mike uh, not too long ago he got hurt when he was clearing some trees and different things yeah and so they asked us to come over and help and a whole bunch of people came over to help them get ready because they have a shed delivery coming up real soon yeah that we are you know that they're expecting and so since Mike was hurt they really needed some help with that but yeah. unfortunately we were not able to go because we were sick yeah and it just always has to happen at the wrong time <laughs> yeah I'm telling you man. yeah we were really um, motivated to go over there I mean we had it all planned out with everybody in the community to go over there yeah and uh, we woke up that morning and nope it yep. was so, not gonna happen so today is literally three days after we were working in the garden this is the first day we've actually been out of bed off the couch off the couch <laughs> outside for the most part yeah. um wyatt's been a big help he's been helping out with the animals and different things fortunately wyatt didn't get sick no a little tiny bit he was sick but not a lot just a little bit no nothing like we were no we were pretty pretty bad yeah. um really bad cold body aches chills hot flashes you guys know yeah. different things so we're feeling a little bit better today but as you guys can see the first day we can get up and about look what's happening it's pouring it's a, a wonderful fall uh, day here in arkansas yeah <laughs> so you know what can you expect but more rain yeah and it is supposed That's to right. be like this all day today yeah we're getting over what an inch of rain roughly yeah so or more or more <laughs> But we didn't want to leave you guys hanging. If you noticed, we didn't put a video out yesterday like we usually do on our schedules on Wednesdays. Yeah. We'll put stuff out, but this is why we got really sick. Yeah, um, we were still recuperating yesterday. Yeah, and that's life. It is you know, life. We had to take some sick days, guys. Yeah, we did. We had to call in sick to the box. Yeah. <laughs> so, but we do appreciate every single one of you guys for being here. Um, thank you. Stay motivated. Oh, yeah. Stay healthy. Yep, and stay safe, guys. Mm -hmm. And we will catch you all in the next one. Bye. Bye.